What is up, ladies and gents? I am Magicide, and welcome back to our Geek Fest here playing EU4 as the Yabguids. So we took that mission to conquer Wolgast here. We are going to be doing that in just a second. You know, one thing I actually did want to take a look at, first of all. So our man is 45 years old, and he had, he's just, which gives us uh, some national unrest reduction, which is really awesome. And uh, Brett here is going to get some additional taxes. How old is he? He's uh, 24. Okay. Um, the other thing I was thinking about doing was actually putting. First of all, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna put myself leading this uh, this stack because we we did we had some. No, we have, we have no siege value, unfortunately. But we want to try to mitigate as many losses that we, as we possibly can. All right, let's uh, declare a war. Oh God damn it! And it looks like the Kushereeds are actually going to jump in on this. Well, the other thing I was thinking about is that uh, one of our previous vassals, we could potentially actually ally them. So how many troops do the Kushereeds actually have? Um, 25,000. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's Josh Kareeds. All right, so it looks like they are this kind of like olive drabby kind of color. No, this color right here, yeah. Like kind of an olive color. So there's a stack of their army right there. Um, hmm. I guess what I could do is probably turn on this fort. Yeah, let's turn on some of these forts here before we declare this war. Uh, probably this one as well. I mean, we're, we're going to have to turn out some of our forts eventually anyways when we start facing some of these uh, rebellions and whatnot. Alright, so I'm going to let this army get over there. Actually, why don't we put myself leading this army since I have the, what is it, 3-2 uh, maneuver? So just out of curiosity, could I actually ally these guys? Hell no. They hate us. They want our land. That's quite unfortunate. What about um, the Josh Kareeds? What about those? They would take an alliance. Yeah, let's let's uh, get an alliance with our old vassal. So that's two. That's good. You know, we could just break our alliance with the, this OPM down here if we really wanted to. Because they're not going to really be worth anything. You know, something I was thinking about doing was actually just breaking off some of our lands to form a new nation. So that way I can get rid of some of these rebels. Okay, so let's see here. That is steps. And that is mountains. Why don't we actually bring you over here? I think it'd be better to actually attack this group because it is going to be in the steps. State maintenance, army maintenance, fleet maintenance, fort maintenance. Rooting out corruption. Okay. So, one of the stipulations of our camp campaign was that we cannot do any royal marriages. So we always want to have the ability to name our heirs. And I'm pretty sure that when you royal marry somebody that you can't actually do it. So we're going to decline. All right, so one thing that we should probably do here is probably improve relations with these guys. Okay, well, let's uh, declare a war. We'll do show superiority. And then take the stack here. 
as soon as these guys jump in. Alright, so my question is, do they have any other armies out and about anywhere? They have this stack, they have that little stack. Got a one stack over here. I suppose what I can do. Bring this. My 15 stack to come over here and start working on this fort. This is really going to be great because we got the steps. But they, they receive it too because they are a horde. Awesome. Smash them in the face. Alright, let's uh, detach Siege and let's uh, come, come over here and deal with these guys. Uh, military access from Mali, sure. Okay, so we actually have an army floating around over in this direction. Alright, very well. I think we could probably do that, even though this is all mountainous. Terrible for us. Shit, you know what I should have done? Let's raise these forts. Gonna cost us an arm and a leg. I have no idea where these guys are gonna go to. They might just be doing that thing where the AI just walks around to troll you. Okay, so what I could do with this small stack here is actually take over these other provinces in the area. Okay, so this is Kushreeds. Let's go over here and wipe these guys out. guys headed to Nagari okay so here's our first rebel stack Yabweed tribes holy shit 98,000 increased autonomy is what they want wow War exhaustion, overextension, religious unity is our biggest problem. Huh. Right. That's gonna be pretty rough here. Jesus Christ. So I'm not entirely certain I'm gonna be able to catch these guys. Because that's what they're doing. They're just moving their troops around. Not really doing much. So I guess we'll just take out some forts here. Wasn't really looking to actually... Oh, whatchamacallit. Fight these guys. Oh, we could, we're probably going to get a mission to take out these guys. Take out, oh, was this Holland? Well, anyways, I wasn't really planning on taking any of the territory away from uh, the Kershreeds. Okay, there's one fort down. Oh, never mind. They're taking out my forts, the ones that I didn't actually pay for. So... What are you guys at right now? 90%. Maybe we should actually just straight up pay for all of our forts. Activate all forts, please.
Okay, there's our revolt. Milan, Verona... Yep. Jesus Christ, man. So who's actually fighting here? So here's our rebels. I guess what I can do... Move you guys into position here. Might be, might be able to actually take care of them. Hopefully. Do the same thing. Detach siege. Do have this stack over here. So I'm going to do my best here to get rid of some of these rubbles. I mean, they are starting to build up. It's going to be pretty hectic. Okay, so what's the deal here? All right, why don't you guys detach these over here and help them out? these stacks over here. Man, I really wish I could get another general. I mean, I suppose I could. I suppose I probably should. Okay. Two fire, two maneuver, one siege. So, boy, it'd be really nice to put them over here. Okay. Uh, do we have any other territory? Kersheries, there we are. I think I will actually take some land away from these guys. It does kind of make sense. Alright, what's the deal with, uh, this area over here? He's just walking him around. Trying to troll me some. Okay, so that's one stack down. Do the same thing. Detach Siege. Okay, the Josh Kareeds want to Royal marry us. Negative. We are fighting in farming. Oh my god, are we gonna lose this fucking battle? Jesus Christ. Don't tell me we're gonna lose this battle, dude. That'd be some fucking bullshit. So I'm gonna think we're gonna let our manpower, I mean our morale, recover a little bit. So what is. Where are you guys located? Ba Boo Zhao. Boo Zhao. Give us an idea of where they're going to locate. Okay, so it's going to be over here in this territory. And how big are they going to be? 50 goddamn K. Jesus Christ. And they are separatists, correct? So if I really wanted to... So, we can't actually form another nation here because... Nobody else has cores and stuff. Like, all this land is, like, fully cored except for a couple. Well, I don't know what to do here because... 
I mean, quite frankly, we're not going to have enough troops here to deal with them unless I pull off all of my troops from the sieges and whatnot. This is a problem. This is the problem. I guess what I could do... Start to walk these guys over. Yeah, we're, we're going to need some definite additional support. Alternatively, what I could do is boost my stability, but Jesus Christ, it's, it's really expensive. Nice. Uh, let's see, what else was I going to do here? I was going to take this... Uh, you guys are headed to... Savona. Senova. Okay. Let's see if we can take these guys out. It is going to be in the hills, though. We're going to lose some hella money here. All right, one more, uh, one more tick here. Nice. And most of our war score is going to come from battles, since we're doing the uh, show superiority. But it'd be really nice to actually finish some of these sieges, especially this one. God damn it, we're gonna lose this fucking battle. Guys up. That's my ally. Okay, so you, they they only own that one province, really. Uh, okay. Well, then why don't you guys uh, back that ass up? Well, let's see here. Curse reads. Yeah, but we don't have military access. That's the problem. Oh, come on, man. Okay, we got a really good roll there. I just had that feeling like we're just getting just really awful rolls. Where are you guys heading to? All right, let's see if we can cut them off. We do have this other stack up here that we're going to have to deal with. That has a two-star general. Although, you know what I could do, potentially, is actually move these guys into position here. Let's uh, do the same thing. Let's detach the siege. And I think I'm going to actually leave a couple of fellows here. And we're going to move these guys up. So we deal with that last stack up here. Okay, so let's see these are all these colors are very similar. So what I think I probably could do here is uh, let's take off one of these guys. I'm gonna actually put our one general that actually has the siege. Nice. Finish that. I think what I can do with you guys is... Um, probably move you guys into position here. Awesome. So we're gonna get- we're gonna get attacked. Alright, let's take our- our one general here. So I could probably get a third general. I guess. There we go. Two shock, two maneuver. We'll take him. And he's getting the crossing penalty.
Yeah, some of these guys are already facing a bunch of separatists. So, do you guys actually own any of this? Curse reeds. There we go. Just move you guys down then. Still trying to troll me here. Nice. Right, so what we can do here, split you guys off in half. Take one stack to go there, one stack to go there. See, that one little pip in, uh, of Siege is actually really going to help us out big time. God damn, these small stacks are such a fucking pain in the ass. Well, we can finally peace out. Why don't we do the curse reads first? I'd really like to take away some of their land. Really? They won't give us that? Say what? They'd give us the one province. So... Can we do just that? I mean, is there anything else that's a little bit more... Uh, makes a little bit more sense? I mean... Could take out the Nemours here, just so I can unify this entire territory. But I think I would like to actually connect these areas. So what if we did something like that? Plus, um, could have them revoke a bunch of cores, could have them release some nations. You know, instead of taking land from them, I could have them release a nation. And then have them give me some war reps. And money. I mean, I think we could probably do that. We just need to... We've got, uh, two different forts that are awaiting some progress here, and then we've got this battle. So how do they feel about this now? They'll do it. I could probably actually get a little bit more from them. Maybe. I, I don't know. Is there something cheap I can get from them? I don't think so. Let's just, uh, let's just go for that. And that'll free up my armies here. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and take you guys down this way. We are unfortunately going to have some attrition. What I'm worried about is that some of these separatists end up crossing over into my territory. Which would be inherently bad. Okay, you guys are... supposed to head down this way. To deal with this, uh, impending rebel rebels. So we have the East Frisians. How big are they? 44k. Jesus Christ, man. They're everywhere. Yeah. This is going to be awful. So we got to wait for our, our diplomat to arrive. Let's, um... Where's my... Where's my guy? Where am I at? My monarch. Uh... Do -do 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 -do. Where are you? Thought I had him... Leading one of these groups. Okay, you guys could probably split in half here. Uh, I don't really think it makes a difference, so what we'll do... Have you stand down. And then we do have that one stack that's down here that's still drilling. 
So one of my hopes is that the actual uh, vassals that I had is that they're going to split. Take a look at their liberty desire. So it actually is taking down some. That's good. So we have some more guys that are black flagged. Okay, you guys are in the process of moving. So I think... Oh, we're making money now. Well, that's just because of the... the war. Give me your land. What? Wait, what are you talking about? Uh... What? Why won't you... Why won't you do it? Clear offer. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to give it a little bit more time. It's kind of stupid. And unfortunately, we can't actually move my navy over here into position because we have this uh, Terra Incognita blocking our way. Although, I should be getting, like, ticking war score, right? I'm gaining 18.6. By achieving the war goal. So we have the war goal. So I guess we just have to give it a little time. So we're getting in there. I'm guessing it's probably going to take a couple of months. Alright, what do we need to do? Split you guys off, first of all. So it looks like the East Frisians have a really good chance of actually spawning in Sweden. So what I think I should probably do maybe, what is it? Sweden and Denmark, right? No, it looks like it's yeah looks like it's all going to be in scan this uh, upper portion of Scandinavia. So why don't I actually start to move some troops here in the position. And then my stack here that actually has the general, we're going to have you drill. Speaking of which, let's uh, take a look at our army professionalism. So it is ticking up. Excellent. So we're going to have Bohemian Separatists really soon here. Alright, so which ones were these? What the fuck? Oh. Okay, never mind. So these were the... The one. Okay. Well. Let's bring in these stacks over here. Let's find a... Let's see, Bohemia is going to be over here somewhere. God damn, these supply limits around here are bullshit. Go to Pilsen. The land of good beer. Alright, can we actually uh, finish this war now? Is that possible? And we can. Let's clear the offer. Make sure we get everything we want. I want money. And that's uh, all I can do. Okay. Very good. What's uh, the next mission we could take? So our manpower needs to recover. That's not going to happen. I'd really like to uh, to take this. Who actually owns it? Burjand. I don't remember. The Kershreeds. So we have a truce with them for quite a while. 57. So all these missions are pretty awful. What about this uh, province that we can potentially convert? Gurnar. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to convert any of that. I mean... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that mission and actually just cancel it out right away. There was that one group that I actually had these guys release, but we can't see them. 
unfortunately. Otherwise, I would try to ally them. <laughs> so stupid. I'd really like to actually get access to this area. Can we, um... Potentially, like, share maps or something? I forget where the... Actual button is to share maps. Steel maps. I don't want to do steel maps. Wasn't there an option in here to actually... Share maps? Request to share maps. There we go. But they won't even do it. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you guys definitely wouldn't do it. So all of our previous vassals are going to be complete assholes about it. There we go. We can do it with the Josh Nakareeds, our one ally. So I think we'll do that. Right, let's group you guys up. Let's give you a general. So where is our other general at? We have... Hey, you're just sitting there. Why don't we actually... Say, set you to drill for the moment. So we have three different generals that are drilling. You guys get up here. So this is gonna be marshland. Gotcha! Nice. Okay, so... The Bohemians are definitely going to spawn. Where are you guys potentially going to go? Base? Base! Yeah, B-A-S-E. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Land shut. Land shut. Okay, so pretty much over in this direction. So what we'll do is we'll split you guys in half. Take one stack to go there. And we'll take this other stack to come over here to Munchen. Wait, we lost. Oh, I didn't even realize I had uh, <laughs> rebels down here. All right, well, stop drilling. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna go over to our ally. Let's, uh, share some maps. Do you guys have Iberia? However, they have accepted our request to share maps of Iberia. They gained 10 prestige and we lost 15 prestige. We learned two new provinces. So now I can actually see this this group over here, the Petrides. I'm gonna try to ally these guys. We still have a slot open, right? Yep. So if I ally these guys, then I could potentially just feed them all of these other groups eventually in time. At least that's my hope. Son of a bitch. Run away! Yep. So which uh, general do you guys have? The 3-2 guy. And this is gonna be in hills. So that's the problem. And we're taking a crossing penalty here. So if we take a look here, I think, yeah, all of its surrounding provinces all, all have a river crossing penalty. So, guess where we'll take the inflation. Okay, so these are our bohemians. 
do something like that. Okay, let's uh, split you guys in half. Probably don't need the general. So what else do we got here? Temesite. Nice that these rebel groups are going our way here. Fabulous. Dude, I do not want to become a tributary. Not going to happen. Oh, that's right. All right let's uh, try to become allies. Awesome. Do they want me to royal marry them? I think not. Okay, here's our other revolt. Was that the Temesites? It was. Now we have Croatian separatists. So how big are the Croatians going to be? Croatians, 27k. Alright, everybody go there. Come up here. And who's gonna arrive first? You're gonna arrive on the 18th. Okay, so you guys could probably use this general here. Excellent. Do the same thing. Let's uh, split them up. Truth be told, you know what I should, probably should do? So three shock, two maneuver. <clears throat> I could probably take Magicide to actually get in there too. Not because I'm trying to kill him off or anything. All right, so all these armies over here are gonna take care of the Croatians next. Actually, you know what I could do? Let's probably move them into position. Where are the Croatians going to spawn? So, Zagreb. Alright, so... Why don't we do this? Why don't you guys... Say, go up to Zagreb here. We'll take, um... Say, this stack. You guys can go to Crane. So, we're now a Zealot. Missionary strength plus 1%. Awesome. So it's kind of a kind of stupid to actually have these alliances. You know what I should do is probably break this alliance. They could become a tributary. So th these guys were actually a tributary before in CK2. So I'm wondering if that actually like takes away one of our relationship slots if we establish them as a tributary. As their overlord, you will be able to demand a yearly tribute from them in the form of money, monarch points, or manpower. They will still have independent diplomatic relations with other countries. Yes, let's do that. We're now an inspirational leader. Fabulous. So uh, detach siege, and then one of you guys split in half here. We'll take some of these smaller stacks to actually deal with this other group. All right, you guys can be sitting pretty there. Got a hell of a lot more rebels to deal with here. God, the supply limit here is just garbage. Oh, you want to know what I keep forgetting to do? Oh, I'm stupid. You know what I should have done? I should have raised this shit. I completely forgot to do that. Oh, man, I completely forgot. So, Greifswald. 
cannot be raised because the development is too low. Okay, well, I could have done that to, like, East Frisia. Or to Holland. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, I completely forgot. That's what we should have done. Alright, so out of curiosity... Okay, so we have the three slots. Okay. Um, what we need to do, actually... Split you guys out, first of all. So what I'm kind of curious about to guard against the way is probably get one of these groups that are not under tributary status and try to ally one of them. Unfortunately, Korshin and Jian Zhao are both tributaries. So is Korea. Baratia is not. I can make them my tributary. Or I could try to get them as an alliance. Why don't we establish them as a tributary? So who are you allied to, by the way? Corshin. And they're already a, a tributary. God damn, the Chinese like have basically taken all these groups around here. Yeah, I think all these OPMs and whatnot, I could just make them tributaries. It kind of makes sense. Oh, I can make them a vassal. I don't really want to do that. We'll just uh, establish uh, tributaries for now. They would like to share your maps of Horn of Africa? Uh, sure. Um, so just out of curiosity, I can have, they can either give me money, which they're not, they're not giving us much. I think we should probably take the, the manpower for now. So we can give them money, reduce their liberty desire, additional tribute, They've sent us an additional token of goodwill, increase their liberty desire, demand artifacts, which would give us prestige. Hmm. Wow. Could pay off their debt. Sure. Yeah, let's get some additional tribute. I would like to actually keep these guys around as an ally. These fools, the Petrides, simply because I want to actually, when I go to war with the rest of these guys around here, I can feed them the land. Oh, son of a bitch. Wow. Wow. Okay, so they're way the hell up there. And the closest army I have is really nowhere. So 10 and 7. Alright, let's send all these guys. Get them into position. It's going to be a while before I get there. So here's the question is, is what do I do with the forts? Should I just say screw it? I think I should just say screw it because we can't afford them. Just we're we're gonna have to mothball them. As a matter of fact, you know what I could probably end up doing is just getting rid of a lot of them. I think we should. I think we should just straight up like destroy a lot of them. Some of these interior forts. Because besides rebels, I mean we're we're not boarding anything. So I am going to keep some of our forts that are next to, say, the other groups that are around the area. But I think some of these, I think I should just get rid of them. I know it's probably a big mistake with the, the rebels, but... I think we could just start to dismantle a lot of them. Otherwise, we're going to be drowning in debt. Forever. 
All right, I don't want to destroy all these interior ones because we definitely don't want some of these groups having the ability to just like walk around and willy nilly. All right, I think that looks okay for now. Although, what I should do is probably turn on this fort. There. Hopefully that actually evens us out. Um, the other thing I probably could do is our, our Diplo advisor. I really just want a plus one guy. Yes, let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them both. So if I get a plus one guy, just a level one Diplo advisor, it's gonna actually definitely improve our money situation here. You need to drill. Let's put you in there. Let's have you drill away too. Really trying to actually have them micromanage our army professionalism. So here, how about this army down here? Okay, you guys are still working it. Let's uh, actually hard save our game. I think this is where I need to cut off this episode. So thank you very much for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a good one.